Cambridge School Board tonight. Before we start with the formal business, I think probably most of those in the audience know that we lost a member of the Penridge community, a, a valued member of the Penridge community over the weekend to a tragic accident. Uh, that being Mr. Uh, Charles Bud Hollenbach. I'd like to start with a moment of silence in honor of that gentleman who had made so many contributions to the uh, uh, school, both in the academic curriculum and to the uh, athletic curriculum here. So if we could have a moment of silence. Thank you. At this point, I'd ask Mrs. Cron to call the call. I'm calling the meeting to order. I'm sorry. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Now, Mrs. Cron, would you call the roll? Here. Mr. Denning? Here. Mrs. Miller? Mr. Rigomo? Here. Mr. Sarnese? Here. Mrs. Schmidt? Here. Mr. Thompson? Here. Mrs. Yardley? Here. Dr. Yarnell? Here. Thank you. At this point, um, we will have questions or comments from guests. Please identify yourself by name and municipality. If you'd like to speak, come to the podium. Please, uh, if you can, restrict it to three minutes or less. Not seeing anyone rushing toward the podium, we'll move to the committee reports. Uh, the first one would be the facilities committee, and that would be Mr. Casper. Thank you, Dr. Yarnell. Uh, there's one motion uh, tonight, and uh, that motion is to approve Penridge High School home football games be played at Hellman Track and Field, effective October 21st, 2014. Thank you. Do we have a second to that motion? Second. Uh, moved by Mr. Casper, sorry, and seconded by, I'm going to take your second, Mr. Deming, by Mr. Deming. Do we have comments or questions from board members on this motion? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 8-0. Uh, any other comments from you on finance, or facilities, Mr. Casper? No. Then we'll move to finance, which is Mr. Sarnis. Thank you, Dr. Yanell. I have like four motions. The first is a motion to reject the bids received for two repository sales. Do we have a second to that motion? Second. Moved by Mr. Sarney, seconded by Mr. Thompson to reject the two bids for repository sales. Comments or questions from board members? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 8-0. Mr. Sarney? Yes, second is a motion to approve fund balance commitments for the June 2014 fiscal year end, and they are for financial software, 15986 future retirement rate increases, 8609632 non-routine maintenance, 270000 and technology, 150000 And do we have a second to that motion? Second. Moved by Mr. Sarnese. Seconded by Mr. Thompson to approve the general fund commitments. Comments or questions? Hearing and seeing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 8-0. Mr. Sarnese. Yes. The third is the motion to approve the transfer of $1,300,000 from the general fund to the capital projects fund in order to fund future capital projects. We have a second to that motion for the transfer. Move. Moved by Mr. Sarnese and seconded by Mrs. Schmidt to approve the transfer of $1.3 million. Comments or questions from board members? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 8-0. Mr. Sarnese. The final motion is to commit an additional 300000 of unassigned fund balance and capital projects to be used for future technology infrastructure needs. Do we have a second to that motion? Second. Moved by Mr. Sarnese, seconded by Mr. Rigomo to uh, approve additional transfer of funds to the capital projects. Comments or questions from board members? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 8-0. Mr. Callums, uh, do you have something that you wanted to say in this section? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Okay. Tell me when you do. 
Um, we'll move that on to the personnel committee. Mr. Deming. Thank you, Dr. Yernell. I have a motion, which is to increase the work time for Jamie Gala, who's a substitute at Duke Elementary School from 0 0.4 ESL LTS to 0 0.7. She's a long-term substitute at Guth in Sellersville and is due to an ESL case overload and an IEP increase. So mean, it's an increase of $13,693 and some odd cents, effective 10 21 14. We have a second to that motion. Second. Thank you. Uh, moved by Mr. Deming, seconded by Mr. Thompson to increase the uh, work time of an ESL um, so long-term stuff. Comments or questions from board members? I, I have one. Yes, Mr. Sorry. Yes. Uh, the, mo the motion reads 0 0.4 or 0 0.7, not 0 0.04, 0 0.07. I don't know if that matters or not. I just wanted to point that out. I don't think it does, but that's what mine says. Does it matter? He said, he said then I heard it wrong. I thought he said 0 0.4. It's 0 0.4 to 0.7. Right, that's what I thought he said. 0 0.04. 0 .04. Oh, right. zero point four. Right. Right. So then I withdraw all that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Casper. Thank you. Anyone else? <laughs> if not, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oppose. Motion carries 8 0. Next, we'll go to new business. Do we have anyone who um, has something to do business? Mr. Callum? Uh, thank you, Dr. Neal. If I could just say, um, regarding the games being played at Hellman Field, I, um, talking to student athletes, uh, managers of many several teams, including football, student leaders, and just uh, students that I'm talking to, the uh, feedback about playing at Hellman Field has been overwhelmingly positive. I think people are uh, really taking pride in our new stadium, and I think that they're very impressed with um, how nice it is and how new it looks. Um, there's more uh, space to walk around um, and get together with friends on a Friday night. So um, even for skeptics of, of moving the games here, I think overall, the vast majority of students are very pleased with the work done at the field. Thank you. And I'm glad to hear that. Uh, and I would remind anyone in the audience uh, that there are two more games that will be played at Hellman Field, and those being the game uh, this Friday night and the following Friday night, uh, Halloween. Um, at this point, we'll move to announcements. The next regular school board meeting is scheduled for October 27th, next Monday night. It will be at 7.30 p.m. and it will be here in this room, the LGI 3.3. Uh, at this point, do we have comments or questions from guests? If not, do we have comments or questions from the press? Hearing and seeing none, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you for coming. There will be an executive session, a very brief.